Everybody and welcome to Forever Rugby on Forever Sports. The Scott Robertson era has officially begun with the naming of his first ever All Blacks team. And a bit of a safe team, to be perfectly honest. Not too many changes to what we probably would have seen. And uh, uh, Ian Foster, which is uh, sparked some interesting conversations. And I mean, I suppose he was never going to be that different, was it? You know, it's kind of the best 23 players of New Zealand or the best sort of squad. You know, it's probably not going to be that far or that different um, between the various two coaches. Obviously, the bigger mission of Fasco Tutu continues to dominate a lot of the conversations uh, surrounding the All Blacks. But uh, Scott Robertson has said that he has picked the best side uh, to beat England this weekend. And, uh, you know, what will be interesting, not so much necessarily the personnel, how do New Zealand go about their business weekend? What are the changes we are going to see under Razor that we maybe didn't see um, under Ian Foster? So that, for me, will be more sort of the telling sides is uh, are we going to see an immediate difference, for example? Are we going to see more of the same with some sort of slight tweaks? We'll only know on kickoff this uh, weekend. Uh, it is in the morning. If you're in South Africa that time, we will be live for it as well. So come and join me on the watch along. Uh, before we do look at the team, please do smash the like on the video. Please do subscribe to the channel as well. This is how they do line up. Right, let's go through it. In the front row, Ethan DeGroote, Cody Taylor, and Tyrell Lomax. Uh, pretty solid front row. Um, and uh, these days getting more and more experience into those sort of players. Ethan DeGroote now with 22 caps. Obviously, Cody Taylor um, with 85 caps. Um, been around the block for a long time. Till Lomax with 32. Uh, your captain, the All Blacks captain, a full-time All Blacks captain, Scott Barrett, uh, is joined by Patrick Tupelotto, who's also got plenty of experience in that second row. Um, you then got Sam Penny for now, playing just his second game for the All Blacks, named in the number six jumper. Dolph Papali time uh, in the number seven. I'm a big fan of Dolph Papali. I think a very talented player who's... Had to buy his time um, off the bench a lot uh, due to sort of some of the quality loose forwards they have. I'd be interested to see if he can really make that number seven jersey his own. Um, and then obviously the World Player of the Year, Ali Sevilla, starting at number eight. TJ Perinara back in the setup um, after a bit of a sabbatical. And he starts next to Damian McKenzie, who is backed in the number 10 jersey. That in itself is a very interesting selection. Didn't really get the backing um, of, of Ian Foss too much. Um, you know, we had Bowden Barrett playing at 15, for example, Richie Mwanga playing at 10. We didn't get to see a lot of uh, starts from David McKenzie since he's come back into the All Black setup. I think he's an absolutely tremendous player, a game breaker on his day, and uh, very interesting to see how he goes. Uh, the sensation, Mark Talaire uh, starts in number 11 jersey, Sebi Reese in the number 14, and Stephen uh, Perafita in that 15. Not necessarily a natural 15, um, but. Um, you know, an interesting player with regards to who's, who's got a lot of experience. Um, can play fly half, for example, is um, is very adept at playing across the, the back line. And uh, I think that is a very valuable thing um, that, that he's not going to use. Um, you know, he's played majority at, um, at number 10 throughout the season for, for, for the Blues. Um, I think if you look at his, his, his uh, position, I think he's played um about three games at 15 so far uh this season and um started at at, at 10 uh in an all backs 15 in against japan so um and at 15 so yeah interesting to see how he goes over there off the bench it will be asafo amur um who uh, has got six caps his name off our tuanga farsi fletcher new york competing that uh, reserve front row we then got two per by in the number of 19 luke jacobson joining him on the bench Finley Christen, Anton Leonard Brown, and Bowden Barrett. So, so much experience coming off the bench, especially in the backline department. Bowden Barrett, 123 caps, just 20, 33 years old. Um, very much could end up as the most cap player of all time if you were to play for another about three seasons um, and add sort of another sort of, uh, you know, 30 odd caps to that name, which I think he very much can do. Um, it's an interesting squad. Um, uh, in terms of what Razor had to say about it, uh, this is uh, a quote from the release, release saying, This was a very tough squad to pick, but we've selected the best 23 players to beat England on Saturday. There's a lot of excitement in the group for, uh, for our first test and we're walking to, um, together and we're walking together towards the opportunity to represent New Zealand and our families in Dunedin in front of a sold out stadium. We've prepared well and we're ready. Um, so in terms of some match facts, the All Blacks have played England 30, uh, 43 times since 1905, winning 33 of those tests. Uh, the last match between them was a 25 all draw back in 2022. Um, in terms of the experience across the squad, uh, there's 934 caps in total across the 23. Um, and a majority of those coming from Artis Sevilla, 81, Jordi Barris, 57. Um, 
Rico on is 67 and Perinar is 80 as well. So it became in 47 in the starting lineup over there. So that's the starting 15. Um, in terms of the back line, um, of, the, of the replacements, then obviously you've got your Bert Barrett and your uh, Anthony Brown. He brings in a lot of that experience. <coughs> Score predictions. Thoughts on the squad? Let me know down in the, in the, in the comments below. Smash the like on the video. Subscribe to the channel as well. Thank you very much for watching. My name is Steve. I'll chat to you soon. Thank <laughs> you.